In this video, I'll show you the best way to level up fast in the first sea of Blocks Fruits. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating content. Alright, let's dive right in. Let's start by talking to the Bandit Quest Giver NPC for a quest to defeat five bandits. Go back to the NPC and repeat this quest until you get to level 10. Now move to the docks. Buy a boat from the dealer. And follow me to the Fountain City Island. Now, here I'll discuss a trick to gain some levels quickly. Step into any part of the dry land and hit the NPCs once. Then hide behind the wall to avoid damage while attacking them. Don't use a skill move on any of these NPCs, just hit them, get behind the wall, and kill them. Keep doing this until you get to level 55 or level 40 if you're on a console. Next, head to the pirate village following my lead or log post at the middle left of your screen. Once here, interact with this NPC and choose to fight Bobby if you're level 55 or Brutes if you're level 40. Follow me to Bobby's house. Use the same wall trick with Bobby's boss to kill him for easy leveling. You won't get any damage unless he uses his skill moves. Now, if you are a console player, select the Brutes quest and defeat the 8 Brutes to increase your levels. In the case of Bobby's boss, you'll have to wait for 5 minutes till he responds, so you better do server hopping to fight him again quickly. Keep fighting Bobby until you reach level 75, and grind brutes until level 60. Now, go on the desert island. Once here, Fight Desert Bandits until level 75 if you are playing on console. Then take the Desert Officer's Quest to level 90. PC players can simply take and repeat the Desert Officer's Quest until they reach level 105. Get to the docks, buy a boat, and move towards the next destination, the Frozen Village Island. Once here, interact with the quest giver and choose to fight the snow bandits if you're a console player. You should do this until level 120. Select the Yeti boss to defeat him if you're playing on other platforms. You can do server hopping to defeat the Yeti boss. Repeat this process until reaching level 130. Once you reach level 130, head to the Marine Fortress.
Now, talk with the quest giver NPC on this island. Go for the Chief Petty Officer quest. If you're a console player, you can get to level 130 by repeating this quest. Choose the Vice Admiral quest and do server hopping until you reach level 220. Head to the docks, get a boat from the dealer, and proceed to the prison island. Now, find the Quest Giver NPC and choose the Warden Boss Quest. Server hop Warden until level 230, then both Warden and Chief Warden until level 240. After getting to level 240, keep server hopping bosses till level 350. Console players can reach level 300 on this island. If you manage level 350 here, you can skip the Colosseum Island. After meeting the level requirement for the next destination, get the boat and then head to Magma Island. Once here, find the Mayor NPC to get quest. Grind the military soldiers until you get to level 375 if you're a console player. Otherwise, server hop Magma Admiral boss until level 425. Once you've achieved level 425, head to the next location, the Underwater City. Follow me closely to get to the Whirlpool. Go underwater through this hole. Once here, find the King Neptune NPC to get quests. Now, grind the Fishman Warriors until you reach level 450 if you are playing on console. If you are playing on any other platforms, server hop the Fishman Lord and you can ultimately reach level 500. After reaching the required level, Make your way to the Middle Sky Islands from the Underwater City. Follow me closely to reach the next destination. Once here, get to the upper part of the Sky Islands. Now, interact with the Mole NPC to take quests. Console players can grind God's Guards quests till they reach level 475. If you are playing on any other platform, server hop Whisper Boss until you get to level 575. Once the console players reach level 475 here, they should do the Shonda quest till they get to level 525.
All other platform players who reach level 575 can server hop Whisper boss quests as well as the Thunder God until they get to level 625. After reaching level 525, console players can farm the Royal Squad to get to level 625. I recommend you buy the Observation Hockey for 750,000 at this section of the island to dodge advanced enemy attacks. Move to the docks on the Sky Islands to proceed further. Now, move to the Fountain City using the log post. Once here, meet the Freezebird quest giver, and then take the quest defeating the galley pirates as he is the only one worth grinding. Repeat the quest until you get to level 725. After getting level 725, you'll get access to the second sea. That's how you can level up quickly in the first sea of Roblox Bloxfruits.